This video is sponsored by the MyQ Connected Garage. So I'm not saying Tesla's going to do it, but they might. It is going to be an insanely busy time from Tesla, from this video coming out until the end of next year. We've got new cars, new SUVs, and a bunch of crazy new tech that probably only Tesla can bring out. So here's everything you could expect. And let's start with Tesla's first mass market car, the Model 3. So their version, they called product highly limited in development, is out in Europe. Us here in the US are looking at old busted car, be like, where's my screen in the back? We don't have that yet. And weirdly, Tesla hasn't given really any indication when it's going to come, but the most educated guess of all educated guesses will be Q1 of 2024. Bunch of big changes. The highlights of the changes include way better build quality, a screen in the back, heated and ventilated seats, no more stocks, all the controls are on the steering wheel. A bunch of other smaller changes in there, including front fascia and some changes to the rear taillights. But that's sort of the highlights of Project Highland. What's not there is a front facing camera. It's a weird thing, because on some of the press shots, it had a front facing camera in the front under the bumper, but then when it came out in Europe, it doesn't. Thought is maybe when it comes to the US, we might. But when it comes to Tesla and front facing cameras, uh, they seem to hate them. All right, after the three, let's go to the best selling car in the world. The, sorry about that, the, the Model Y. So no surprise, we're expecting a refreshed Model Y sometime in 2024. As with most things, let's look to China uh, to see what's gonna be coming. They actually already released an updated Model Y back in uh, October. Again, a version we don't have here. On the outside though, just looking at it, it looks absolutely identical to probably the 36 Model Ys you can look out at any parking lot and see right now. But inside, um, Tesla included ambient lighting. It's not the new Juniper Model Y, again, that's a code name for the redesigned kind of Highland version of the Model Y. It's just a Model Y with some slightly new tweaks in it. What we can expect when that Juniper Model Y does come, uh, expect a new front end, new taillights, probably new wheel options, and more interior tweaks. Now, one thing that we should expect with the three and the Y, we've seen rumors of this for a little while, uh, is see new sport models. So currently the performance Model 3 and Y look identical, save for a spoiler and a little red line. Uh, but with these new images, it seems performance models will have different seats with bolstering on the sides, going around corners. And these changes are probably why we haven't seen a new performance model for the three. So I wanna just take a break from Tesla news to kind of talk a little bit about Tesla news. So everything that the Model Y and Model 3 have, and there's a ton of in there. One thing that is missing from it is a way to control your garage. And I get it, we can all have a garage door open or clicked up here and hit a little of that. But Tesla is all about software and doing things that cars don't ordinarily do on their own. MyQ bridges that gap perfectly and the integration with your garage door might as well be native. And I talked about MyQ a little while back and I saw them comments, people were like, this is cool, but I don't like all the beeping that it does when I back up. MyQ listened and now when you back up, out of your garage, it'll geofence it, it'll close the garage automatically. When you drive up to your house, you know what it's gonna do? It's gonna open the garage door for you. It does all those things you'd expect. And if you want to get that built into your Tesla, it would cost you 350 bucks of money you don't have to spend. MyQ's got a really awesome subscription plan. They got a bunch of deals going on even right now for the holidays. You actually get 15% off any MyQ connected garage. Um, you can use offer code 15 off. It's gonna end on 12:31, And with that, you're gonna be able to control multiple Teslas from one account. And if you have different owners of that car, if you or your wife drive that car, a significant other, they also get access. Uh, also, it'll stay with you. So if your lease ends maybe on your Model Y and you get a new Tesla, it'll stay with your new car as well. It is one of the most seamless software integrations I have ever seen. It works exactly as advertised. And for Tesla, that's all about sort of new, innovative, cool features and doing things differently. MyQ is the perfect cherry on top of the already awesome Tesla Sunday. If you want to learn more, all the information you need though, be in the description down below. And from normal looking cars and sedans, let's talk about this. And you either think of it as a monstrosity or abstract beauty. I don't know what camp you're in, um, but after a long wait, the Cybertruck is actually a real product that you can buy. Tesla officially announced the Cybertruck delivery event will be held on November 30th, and similar to Tesla's other models where they deliver a very few production cars to employees, make a giant spectacle uh, out of it, and then slowly start to deliver to actual people. The real question is going to be when you or I 
can actually place a real order, not a reservation for a Cybertruck, and actually buy one. If rumors are to be believed, large scale production won't happen until 2024, and that's when sort of most general people can actually get their trucks. This makes the delivery event sound, I wanna say fake, but let's say staged. Now, this is actually pretty normal for Tesla of how they do their big releases. When the Model 3 was first delivered back in 2017, Tesla delivered 30 of them. And then for the rest of 2017, Tesla only delivered 1,800 Model 3s. It was an extremely slow ramp up, and I expect the Cybertruck to be exactly the same, if not slower, considering they're building a truck in an entirely new way. Now, for what to expect from the Cybertruck, aside from Tesla taking the stage and telling us everything, um, we've actually seen almost everything already from the Cybertruck. Uh, it seems like Tesla's taking a very different approach with marketing this over other cars. These things are everywhere in Southern California uh, right now and Northern California. I, I don't know if you like it or don't like it. I've seen it in person a few times. It looks like a very unrendered polygon, reminiscent of let's say an early Lara Croft, but people obviously love it. There's a million plus reservations for it. I don't know if I could drive a, a Cybertruck. Um, it looks way better in the matte wrap that I've seen but much like Tesla and I guess Elon Musk himself, is a very polarizing truck. I think they're going to sell a lot of them. And it does look to have a pretty good feature set too. Power tonneau cover looks nice. Also be the first Tesla to finally get the ever elusive front facing camera, but you just know it's like a tease. They're not gonna put a 360 camera view in there, just a front facing camera, but uh, you know, I'm hoping. So we have seen some specs start to leak out. Things like a truck actually having a full functioning NEMA 1450 240 volt outlet, as well as two or more actual just regular three prong outlets. Uh, a lot of questions about dimensions. Those finally leaked as well. There's a conception that it is a ginormous truck, the size of an F-350, and seeing it in person because of its shape, it looks evidently bigger than it actually is. So it's 6.1 inches longer than the Rivian R1T, but it's 9.3 inches shorter than the F-150 Lightning, and it's 6.6 .6 inches narrower than a Ford Raptor. So it's not like a Tacoma size, it's not really a Rivian R1T size, it kind of appears to be its own thing. One thing Cybertruck can do is tow a lot, a 11,000 pound tow rating, and that's compared to 10,000 uh, for the F-150 Lightning. So the biggest question with the Cybertruck is, what is this gonna cost? Uh, I was at that launch event, and when those prices were announced, claiming it's gonna start at 40K, the crowd went wild. And I think we can pretty much agree that that price is never going to happen. That was a very different world in time. So price increases are definitely going to be expected. Just exactly how much of an increase? I think what makes sense for this, for the mid-range dual motor version to come in right under $70,000. We already know there's gonna be a high-end sort of beast mode uh, version that should start around $90,000. I'd expect that to go up even more. There were some rumors floating around that people sharing what their prep costs were gonna be. We actually got to buy the truck for the launch event, and those tended to be around $89,000. So at least at launch, like a lot of Tesla cars, expensive version's gonna launch first, and then it will go down. I would expect the cheapest version we ever see for Cybertruck to probably be around $60,000, uh, and that's in a few years. That's just me guessing. For everything else Tesla's working on, there's also a Model S and a Model X which were refreshed not too long ago. So don't expect giant changes, but one rumor that keeps it getting more and more steam is that they'll be getting a new camera in the front bumper like we've seen on the Cybertruck. And again, nice to have, but they don't put 360 cameras on there. I don't care that much. I'm hoping that Tesla finally caves and adds that. They've been relying real heavily on vision for everything, vision for everything. We'll let my own vision see around the car while I'm driving. Now, I'd also wouldn't be surprised to see the ambient lighting come to the SNX, especially with that being available on the Chinese Model Y and the Highland Model 3. Tesla's energy division continue kind of chugging along with solar roof panels and power walls. As time goes on, we're learning more and more about Tesla's new, I don't know what to call it, Model 2, their less expensive next-gen platform. They've talked about it a few times, but don't know what it's going to look like. Allegedly, that's a $25,000 car. According to the latest rumors, it might have a cyber-ish design. Uh, it'll be very utilitarian. Uh, Elon Musk has stated this will be strictly for getting you from point A to point B, so I don't expect any crazy features, especially for a $25,000 price point. This might also be why the new Model 3 has a few upgraded features, since it no longer needs to be the entry point uh, for Teslas. But the Model 2 will continue to be worked on in 2024, and it's possible 
We might see this car later on in 2024, but I probably wouldn't assume that. I would think if anything, I would probably see it in 2025. Other things you can absolutely count on is Elon Musk saying full self-driving will come by the end of whatever year he's talking on stage. I still think we're very far off from that being an actual reality. But Tesla is certainly leading when it comes to AI, when it comes to their neural network, when it comes to what Dojo Supercomputer can do. They're becoming more of an AI company than anything else. I don't think we're gonna hear much about the Optimus robot uh, for a while. I think that's a very kind of cool project, but nothing that's gonna come tangibly uh, for a very long time. Other things that should happen, since NACS is opening up, we need more superchargers and more stalls. Hopefully we get the version four of those with longer cables that other cars can charge off of. Aside from all of that, not much else. That's a lot. Uh, it's gonna be a very busy 12 to 18 months for Tesla. Out of all of those things, this is personally, I'm excited for this to hint the nuggy of possibility of 360 cameras. But I know a lot of people, Cybertruck is gonna be where their hearts and minds are at. But just a few short weeks, we should actually know everything about the Cybertruck.